So at SlickSE, um, we really focus on experiential learning and getting the kids to understand that science is a process and not just a set of facts that they have to memorize. Sure, we try to get the kids outside as much as possible because there's nothing like seeing these phenomena um, in context. So it gets them thinking, it gets them connecting what they're seeing to what they're learning in the classroom and just makes it a lot more real and makes it stick. Uh, could, could you put the tents over there, please? Somebody give me a drink of water. Grab this corner, grab this corner. In preparation for this trip, uh, we learned a lot about the Cleveland Lloyd Quarry, and it was a great opportunity to show them uh, the field of geology, and that you can also um, form hypotheses, and you can gather evidence, and you can um, try to decide what's the best explanation for all of the observations that you're making. So we partnered up with the Salt Lake Center for Science Education to work with their students to put together a paleontology field camp where they would come down here to the southern Utah area around Moab to work on a project with the BLM. Because we not only share these fossil resources with the public and scientists, but we can use these as an opportunity for education. And that's what we were looking at for this program. Which means myself and other BLM staff have been out here with the kids. We've dealt with rainstorms with them. We've dealt with wind with them. We've been helping with the cooking. And so we've actually been involved and in just having that interaction so that they get the ultimate informal education and when something comes up that catches their imagination, we try to be there to help them build upon that. We went to a site that had already been developed by the Bureau of Land Management to showcase what we can learn from a track site. We showed them what a site looks like that has been developed and interpreted for public visitation. This was the Mill Canyon Dinosaur Track Site. It was a site that was discovered in 2009 and has provided extensive research opportunities for scientists from around the world. The second day, we went to a site that was brand new. It's the mail station site. And this particular site allowed the students to make the discoveries themselves, to look at tracks that no one has seen before, to uncover them with their whisk brooms and their brushes. And once they uncovered those tracks, to be able to use documentation techniques that we've been using for many, many years and other scientists have been using for documenting tracks on BLM lands throughout the West. We used a big broom all around it and stuff, and some smaller ones for in the track. And we used like the ends to get like the hard places, and just made it look clean. And we also did well, I've always been kind of interested in paleontology, and coming down here to see these tracks and study them and uncover them was kind of like a childhood fantasy coming to life and it was really fun just uncovering them and you just wanted to keep going and keep digging seeing if you could find anything new and interesting. Oh wow look at this oh here's another one and they were pushing sand off the tracks and really excited to be finding things that nobody else has looked at and conversations about dinosaurs and conversations about no like really how does how does this track stay here? And as teachers, you want them to be asking those questions, but sometimes, unless that's right in front of them, and it's actually a mystery that they have to solve right then, you know, they're not gonna ask those questions. I thought it was just bones that you could see, but I had no idea the tracks could be preserved. I hadn't done anything like this before, but I've loved dinosaurs and I've loved paleontology since I was just like three years old. I wanted to be a paleontologist back then, and it's still a very interesting thing to do. The site we were working at was sand dunes 100 million years ago, 
and we don't really find those kinds of tracks very often. So we were kind of discovering something new. One of the things that I was doing this week was showing the students how to use a camera and produce three-dimensional data. This is a great way for us to be able to preserve the value of the dinosaur footprints that they looked at. You basically uh, have this camera and you want to like take multiple pictures of it around and so you want them to be overlapping so you take one picture here one picture here and one picture here and then you turn around and you just want to get all angled so it doesn't turn out weird the way the kids responded to the data was amazing and just sort of the discovery process of the trackway was really cool and and just the questions they asked i mean they were pretty amazing One of the things that's really impressed me is, is the questions the students have been asking. I mean, it's one thing for us to sort of think of what they should know or what we want them to learn, because we're not only helping teach science, but we're teaching about respecting and protecting our public lands and caring for these resources. And if we get them thinking about the world around them and looking at it in a different way, then we've really succeeded this week. And I think that having this experience will really help me, like, notice things in my environment more and see things that I may not have seen and just kind of enjoy the landscape more. I think it's more of like a once in a lifetime kind of thing because you can't really just go out every day and have all the resources that the people here had and just go out and look at them and take data on them. And just all of that like hands-on real paleontology work it's gonna stick with me probably for the rest of my life. It was a really crazy and really cool experience that I'm really glad that I took part in. We are so fortunate to have found a partner in Slixi because they have the same mission and goals as our youth program, which is to focus on recreation and outdoor experiences and also the STEM. And so that's how we came up with this idea to do this paleo camp because we wanted to focus on Utah's world-class recreation and paleontological resources. And so when we got together with Slixie, it's like this idea just grew and grew and grew. And we were so excited to finally be able to do this and we want to just keep going every year. Just having that support and knowing that other people recognize what we do and the value in it and that they want to support us and help these trips keep going. And so having a partner that understands the value and is willing to step up with their interns and with the funding and just the time out of their week is amazing. So, so yeah, I really want to thank the BLM for all of their support and their interns and their time and their enthusiasm. I think this is a wonderful opportunity for these students. I wish I had an opportunity like this when I was their age, to be able to go out in the field, to be able to look for dinosaur fossils, dinosaur tracks, especially those that hadn't been seen before, that hadn't been discovered before, to make the discovery, to do some measuring and mapping, and then to find out that the information that I provided to the scientists will actually be used, will be used for interpretations of the site so we can come up with a better understanding for those animals that walked through this area millions of years ago. So these students had an opportunity to go back in time, if you will, to not just walk with the dinosaurs, but follow the dinosaurs, to trace the dinosaurs, to document the dinosaurs, and then eventually come up with their own interpretations about what dinosaurs were here and what they were doing.